The Mega Man X5 task is bonkers. And this time for the first time, we're actually going to be going to every single stage because that's what this category is, any percent all stages. So we're not going to be going straight to the Sigma stages this time by manipulating the RNG or whatever the those genius tasters do. As you can see, this was played by, uh, I'm not going to try to pronounce that because I don't know how to read, but you can check out the original video in the description below and you can always find more information on taskvideos.org. And, uh, this should be more entertaining. We should see a lot more tricks. We're already seeing Zero dodge some crazy things. Of course, Alia won't shut up. I, this is the worst part of Mega Man X5. I wish you could just turn off text boxes, but that's not an option. Zero is now off screen. And we should be seeing Zero for the majority of this run because Zero, like you've seen in the other tasks, has the SDC or the Saber Dash cancel, which destroys bosses way faster than Mega Man X ever would. But I guess we'll see. We do have the option to switch between between characters in this game on uh, in, in each individual stage. So who knows? Maybe we'll see Mega Man get played. This isn't a zero only or Mega Man only playthrough. It's just 80% all stages. But who is this? Moldy Sigma. No, I hate this guy. Luckily, zero. Uh, you see how much faster that was than when Mega Man X did it? I mean, that's the power of the SDC. Good job, Zero. And we're starting off with Matrix, or uh, Burn Diner, I don't know, whatever his name is. And this should be interesting. This is the second time a fire stage has been started with first, because in the Mega Man X4 task, we saw Magma Dragoon as the first stage. And this stage is uh, it's pretty cool, it's fun. Zero's dodging some lasers right here, but uh, there's going to be a lot of Alia not shutting up. So maybe Taz can avoid that somehow. Here's the first one. I don't care what Alia has to say. I don't want to know. <laughs> Alia probably said, look out, there's an enemy in front of you. You see how you just landed on the ground? Okay, that, that's called a platform you're standing. <laughs> I don't think it'll ever end. But yeah, here Taz goes all the way to the end. There we go. One cycling, one cycling. I'm pretty sure those uh, walls cannot be... <laughs> no. <laughs> no, Zero's just having fun. Waiting for the lava to come. I mean, what else is Zero going to do, really? This is basically an auto-scroller. I mean, <laughs> again, it's just right there. I don't remember it being this annoying. I mean, I know it was annoying. Ooh, Zero using the, using the Mega Buster or the Z Buster, whatever it's called. I don't know. Anyway, now, now maybe we'll have some gameplay here. Nope, nope. <laughs> just, just when we thought there was some gameplay, Alia had to say something could stop our entire flow of uh, gameplay there, but... And then there was a loading screen, but hey, look, a piece of right arm. Maybe we can use that. Oh, I think, I guess that's what Alia just told us. No, no, now Alia is telling us to use the right arm. This is worse than I remember. Maybe it's because I play slower than Taz, so the text boxes from Alia seem more spaced out, but my goodness gracious. Anyway, Zero is just tanking hits, strategically damage boosting off of enemies to go even more slightly to the right, killing the enemies that wouldn't benefit Zero to damage boost off of. But yeah, and of course, in right armor, you can be in lava. And ooh, what a clean jump off of those wires. We didn't even see Zero's gun connect to them. And it's already time for the boss fight. And here he is. As you can see, the background looks like teeth, kind of like a dinosaur. And uh, the boss is dead. Zero used, uh, you know, SDC. You've heard of SDC before, right? Good job, Zero. And now it's time to go against Grizzly Slash. Now, this guy wants to be Slash Beast so bad. His stage is exactly like Slash Beast. I mean, it's literally a train. He looks like Slash Beast. I mean, at least this one is at night. And if you watch SpongeBob, you know that at night is uh, cooler. Ooh, what a quick way to kill the train. Dang. Dang, Zero, dang. J just mess those trains up, all three of them. I still hear them exploding. They won't stop. Oh my gosh, are they ever going to stop exploding in the background? Maybe not. <laughs> Good gravy. All right, uh, Alia wants to let us know. Oh, yeah, we got eight seconds. Good thing Alia told us that, at least I assume that's what we were told. Who knows? My goodness, we're <laughs> just zooming through. I don't think this timer is going to be an issue. That train was already destroyed. I, I guess that was the plot line. I don't know. I don't even remember. Now we wait once again. Ooh, jumping at the very end. Great cutscene. That's at least cool. I don't think uh, Slash B stage had that. Yeah, and here we go. Finally, we're seeing some gameplay. And the stage is over. Time for the boss fight. And here he is. How is this boss fight going to go, you may ask? Well, I got three words for you. Saber Dash cancel. Grizzly Slash is dead. That's almost three words. If you count his name as one word, that's also three words. What? Who is this? Dynamo? What the? I don't remember this guy being a map. Oh, we're just spawning right into the actual battle here. That's some crazy stuff. 
normally there's like a stage at least that you got to go through before you can battle whoever it is. But anyways, time for the battle. How is this going to go? Well, it looks like more of the same. Dynamo stood no chance there. That wasn't even close. What was the point of that? This... <laughs> This has mostly just been cutscenes and text boxes. We're not even getting much gameplay here. Also, it looks like the weapon fired successfully, but this is 80% all stages, so we are going to continue on with the Maverick stages just for fun, for good time's sake. And of course, it's Duff McWhalen time. And here we have the remixed Bubble Crab theme. What a banger. One of the best sound songs in this game. I did make a video going over the best song from every Mega Man X game and every Mega Man Classic game and every worst song from every game. And uh, I don't think this one won, but it is up there. This is your favorite Mega Man X5 song, I would not blame you. I'm pretty sure I said it was uh, the Sigma Stage 1 or, you, you know, the stage select theme. You, you, you know which one it is. It's a banger. Ooh, some more SDC. Who would have thought we'd see that in this in this gameplay? And that uh, mini boss is... Oh, God. Zero just got bored. Didn't want to see that. I hate these fish. Again? Again, Zero? I guess this is an auto-scroller. We're just going to sit here in this auto-scroller and let Tass do its thing. Um, the Tassers always like to make <laughs> goofy things happen. I mean, Tass is a great speedrunner, but uh, when it comes to auto scrollers, Tass gets bored like every other human being, you know? Even though Tass isn't really a human being. If you don't know, Tass is coded by human beings. This is AI. Tass has been around a lot longer than these newfangled AI machines, but uh, yeah. yeah. Zero's. Oh my gosh, you really cut that close. Zero's inside the whale, basically. What is this, uh, Jonah? The old story of Jonah? My goodness. I think that's his name. Ooh, once again, cutting it close there with that old laser. And with that platform. Oh, Zero, you got ate by a fish. That wasn't good. This stage, I don't remember it being this slow. I, I guess Tass makes everything look slow, but I mean... <sighs> how, so how are you guys doing? I'm, um... Oh, Zero's head just got cut off there, but I guess he survived. I, I have a headache and a tummy ache. I actually don't feel very well, so I apologize if my commentary isn't great, but I hope you guys are doing good. We got some downtime here. It's a nice auto scroller. Oh, we got to actually kill him now. If only we could have done that earlier. And <laughs> he's dead. He's dead. It's as easy as that. Could have done that the whole time, but why not go through the very slow stage first? I mean, no reason not to entertain this robot whale oh and here's another one great is it isn't that great oh zero's flying my goodness this thing's shooting out slow missiles too everything about this stage is slow and to think i've complimented Mega Man x on the water levels before and how most video games are you know hated for their water levels and Mega Man x is just you know and Mega Man in general just has good water levels and i stand by that this stage isn't bad it's just all those scrollers my goodness, I know some people like all those scrollers, and they can be fun, but in the speedrunning sense, I personally lose my patience. Not to say I'm not entertained by what we're watching here. I mean, Zero's playing with missiles for some reason. Um, yeah, not sure what the deal is with that. Zero's just falling very slowly. Maybe, maybe we're going to fight this thing now? Maybe? Oh, here we go. Here we go, Zero. You know what to do. Oh my gosh! That was the craziest Saber Dash cancel we've seen yet. He was looking left and right and up and down. Oh, we're out of the water. Hey, this looks kind of like Pirate Man's level from uh, Rockman and Forte, the best video game ever made, other than uh, Super Metroid. One, one day I'll review that game. Don't worry, guys. And I'll also do How to Beat Rockman and Forte the Cool Way, since people say it's really hard, but... Also, as you can see, we're going to be skipping a majority of the upgrades here because this is any percent all stages. As long as all the stages are visited and completed, that's all we got to do here. We will do the 100% category next video if you guys want to see that, and I assume you guys do, so we probably will be watching that. Uh, but for now, we're going to watch Zero get as close to the in-game hitboxes as possible without triggering them. This is, this is true art. I mean, it is slow, but art is a slow process, you know? I, uh, I don't know what to say here. We're just <laughs> zeros. What are the hitboxes on these on these laser things? I I don't understand. I guess it's just the front of them that do damage. What is this like uh, the piranha plants and the Super Mario Bros on the NES? This is absurd. I guess the reverse of the piranha plants because the piranha plants only the stem has a hitbox, and uh, this seems to be the opposite. But anyway. Hopefully we'll get to fight this thing soon and continue on with the uh, Mega Man X5. 
You know, I guess we really took for granted how even though those uh, the any percent task for this game is very short because we go straight to Sigma, we really took for granted how slow some of these stages are. I mean, okay, this is the fast part. That was the cool part. We got to see that three times. I love seeing that. There we go. That was nice. And now the stage is over and we get to finally fight Duff McWhalen. And here he is, Duff McWhalen. We all know him. We all love him. Duff McWhalen here. Oh, wow. The Saber Dash cancel. I had to take a break for a minute. It looked like uh, we did weakness damage somehow. I don't believe we actually did, but it uh, doesn't matter. Duff McWhalen is dead. And now it's time for Axel the Red. And this should be an interesting stage. I mean, it's not one of the best ones, but anything will be interesting after watching Duff McWhalen. Ooh, ooh, we get the dash. Ooh, some fun gameplay. Yes, yes, this is what we've been waiting for. Oh my gosh. Zero's jumping off the vines like George of the Jungle. He's looking like Tarzan out here. He's going insane. Bananas, what kind of dashing is this? I've never seen such speed. Oh, and of course, Ali has to say something to interrupt this great gameplay, but oh my gosh, I'm never going to play Mega Man X5 the same way ever again. I need to figure out how to use this weapon because I never remember the zero combos to use the weapon, but I don't even think I rated this as the best weapon for this game. Maybe I did. I don't remember. I did make a video on the best Mega Man X weapons from every Mega Man X game, but uh, the stage is already over. I didn't take into account how much how much faster that made zero travel goodness me anyway here's axel the red uh, first he's gonna talk to zero for a little bit i normally skip this part but uh here he is let's battle him oh he's invincible right 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 i was like why would zero shoot with it with his gun arm anyway axel the red more like axel the dead <laughs> and now it's time for possibly the worst maverick ever squid adler Sometimes people tell you uh, not to eat squid because squid are like really intelligent or something, but then I remember about this stage and I don't feel bad. Not that I eat squid very often or I have in the past decade, but I would. I would eat it because I don't like squid Adler. I was also really fast. This is like the worst motorcycle section ever. Zero made that look very easy. Also, did not collect a single one of those ammo things to blow up that wall for the upgrade because that would be slow. You guys know how slow it is to go choo. I think it's literally like that fast, maybe even slower. Oh, but then just when you think you're at the terrible part of the stage, you know, you get past the race, the bicycle chase, I mean. Now you got all these puzzles. Who wants puzzles in a Mega Man? What is this, Mega Man Battle Network? What is this, Mega Man 64? I don't know, I haven't played either of those games, but I assume there's probably puzzles. I just want to play Mega Man, for goodness sake. Anyway, Zero is zooming regardless of the puzzles. That, that ice, that, oh, we saw a glitch, an ice clip. Oh my gosh, what is this, Super Metroid? That was a real ice clip, we just saw it. Let's take out Squid Adler. Here we go, the battle for the ages. Oh, he's actually weak to some, and now we're doing the SDC, of course. I was about to say, what are we doing using a weakness for a, for a Maverick? Aren't they all weak to SDC? Well, it doesn't matter now because Squid Adler is dead. And now it's time to face Dark Necrobat. I mean, uh, Dark Dizzy. Now this stage looks cool. It has a beautiful soundtrack. I mean, it's not the best song ever, but this stage can be really annoying playing casually. First of all, it's lagging. That sucks. I don't think it's actually lag. I think it's supposed to be slow motion kind of here. But uh, we're about to see some enemies that are some of the worst enemies of all time. Now we get to move fast. That's great to see. And a million bats spawn in with spikes. I don't know if you guys saw that, but those were spikes. Yes, spikes. The type that kill you in one hit. Ooh, nice sliding under that platform. Crazy stuff right there. He's a... What? What is this about? Zero, what's going on here? <laughs> what, what are we doing? Are we waiting for the platform? Aw, oh, man. At least we get to see a beautiful constellation. You see those spikes, though? If you step on that platform, you're dead. Zero, be careful. My goodness, they should... Oh, right, right as it was disappearing, crazy. They should never have given bats, or any enemies for that matter, literal spikes to kill Magma. That's absurd. If you're going to give an enemy spikes, you might as well give, like, a like a, a boss, a Maverick, or a Robot Master. Make Spike Man at this point. What are you doing? If it bats, can, ordinary bats, can just run around dropping deadly spikes... Anyway, we get to see more gameplay now. Never mind, Alia wants to tell us something. And uh, we got flashbang for a second. We got flashbanged again, but you know what? Just uh, epilepsy warning, maybe a little late. We might get flashbanged a couple more times. But uh, I, I apologize. I, I didn't know that was coming. Anyway, the stage is over. It's time to fight the boss. And here he is, Dark Dizzy, I believe is what it said. And uh, 
Now he's dead. There he goes. Goodbye, uh, you bat. Aw, oh, this guy again. Dynamo again. Didn't we already kill this guy? And once again, we don't even have a stage. We just show up right in this boss fighting arena. I mean, this is the most unprofessional guy of all time. Oh, I'm back. I know you completely destroyed me the first time, but I'm sure this time I'll be a much bigger challenge. You just don't want to... Who could have seen this coming? Dynamo destroyed for a second time in a row. I'm getting real sick of this guy. Get out of here, Dynamo. And we appear to be stopping by the Sigma stages. I'm not exactly sure why. We still have more uh, actual stages to go through. We haven't gone to Izzy Glow's stage, for example. I'm, I don't know what the deal is here. Maybe we're just getting one out of the way. Ooh, we're zooming, though. Maybe we're going to get X's ultimate armor, and then that's going to make uh, some of the stages faster. I don't know what the deal is, but... Uh, Right now we're zooming and unlike in the any percent task, we do at least have the weapons for some of the Mavericks. So we do have the fast dash that we got from Duff McWhalen that we just used right there. And uh, it's time to fight the Shadow Devil or is it? Could this be somebody else? Nope. Sounds like the Shadow Devil music to me. Oh, and we're, we're really making use of all these weapons. We did not have these weapons last time. We were going plain old dude only, even zero. I mean, goodness me. That was a fun task, though. So if you didn't watch the 80% task for whatever reason, you should go check it out. But here's the Shadow Devil. Can we take him out in one cycle? Yes. Yes, we can. It took Mega Man like three or four. Zero. One. And now it's time for Izzy Glow. I don't... I'm not sure why we went to the Sigma stage. I'm not editing this or changing the order. I, I'm i sure there's some routing reason why we went to the Sigma stage first. But uh, I couldn't tell you why. I don't know. I'm not... I didn't task this game out. It wasn't me, guys. It wasn't me. Anyway, this should be a fun stage. We have all these weapons to use. I mean, the Shadow Devil didn't give us a weapon, so I don't know. Aliad, please shut up. Please be quiet. I mean, goodness me. Ooh. Ooh, using the time freeze weapon. I did not expect to see that. Oh, and Alia cut it off. That's great. Thanks, Alia, for that. Damage boosting through the spiked chandeliers. Saving our Reploid. Goodness me. And th there's the first half of the stage. We get to look at a loading screen. At least it's only one. Oh, look, it's a uh, split mushroom stage and tornado tunyon stage and uh, probably someone else's stage that all have these spiral staircases. This one's very cool, though. I like how the background also spins. I don't know. I'm a big fan of how this looks. This boss fight, on the other hand, seems annoying. It seems like it's going to be slow because we can't SDC it. And uh, anything you can't SDC, not a fan of. I like uh, being able to SDC things or a uh, saber dash cancel. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that Saber Dash cancel. Have I said it enough in this video? If we could do that, we, we would have been done like 30 seconds ago. But here we are halfway through the boss. We have to wait for them to twirl down these little licorice poles, whatever these are. I mean, I mean, what a great boss this is. This reminds me of a Titamino from Mega Man 8. It's not that similar, but in terms of just being tedious and weird... I assume we're also getting good RNG. I don't believe that the one you're supposed to kill always goes to the bottom, but I could be mistaken. Yeah, okay, clearly it doesn't, but we got some really good RNG there, and uh, we beat the spiral staircase. And now we're zooming. Now we're zooming. Climbing up the tower, using our dash. Those things shoot deadly lasers, and we're not even going to have to deal with them. We're off screen. Zero is so fast, the cameraman can't even keep up. Oh my gosh, you know how much they paid this cameraman? It's got to be a lot. Oh, and now Alia wants to tell us something. Okay. Thanks, Alia. Very useful. And uh, that's the stage. Time to fight Izzy Glow. And there he is. Izzy Glow? Or should I say, is he gonna die? Is he gonna live? Is he dead? It appears so. It, he, he is dead. And for some reason, we're going back for the Sigma stages. Again, I don't understand this routing. Maybe it's faster menuing somehow. I don't know, but this is Sigma Stage 2. We still have not fought Spiral Pegasus. I forgot what his original name is, but we're probably going to see it because I believe this is on the PlayStation 1, uh, this task is anyway. Yeah, and it's probably faster. I don't know about the loading times, actually, but I'm pretty sure this is on the PlayStation 1 either way. But yeah, we're doing them out of order because we got that... Uh... Okay, zero. That was crazy. You didn't have to do that. But yeah, like I said, we got the good RNG the first time we fought Dynamo. We've had access to the Sigma Stages for a long time, but I guess it's somehow faster to wait and, and for a little bit and then go to the sigma stages and then go back to the mavericks i don't know if anybody knows why this is the case please let me know down in the comments because i don't understand but uh it's time to fight rang da bang da there he is we killed his red eye there's his blue eye are we gonna kill it oh dead the blue eye is dead the green eye the green eye is shooting at us don't let that happen 
Thankfully, there's not a pink eye. <laughs> that wouldn't be fun. There are spikes, though. Those aren't bad. And uh, there... Is, is it a she? I keep I keep saying he because I, I, I always assumed it was a he, but maybe it's a she. What, what, whatever the case, uh, Rang -da -bang -da has died. I guess we're going to Sigma Stage 3? Okay, I, I guess Spiral Pegasus can wait. I don't understand it. Uh, maybe now we're gonna get the, uh, the ultimate armor for Mega Man X, and then we'll do that stage with Mega Man X. I don't know, I guess we'll see. I, it doesn't look like it. I think we just skip it. No, 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 it's after this, right? Yeah, it's down there. Wasn't it down there? I think it was down there. Yep, well, I got... <laughs> all my hypotheses are out the window, but it's time to kill Mega Man X. Wouldn't it be funny if we kill Mega Man X and then, then we go play Spiral Pegasus stage as Mega Man X? That would be crazy, wouldn't it? Anyway, there's a big old W in the background for uh, Sigma, of course. And they're doing a lot of yapping right there. Anyway, it's time to get down to business and fight. And Mega Man X lost the battle severely. That was not even close. Not one scratch on Zero's head. Was that a ghost I just saw dash out of the screen? What was that about? Mega Man X lays on the ground. Zero's a completely full health. And that wasn't even close. Never mind, they both took each other out. Um. Okay. Okay, I guess. Oh, Zero's back up. He was faking. He was faking all along just so he could shoot Sigma, I think. Nope, never mind. He's not going to shoot Sigma. He was just going to T-pose. It looked like he was going to shoot Sigma. He did have his gun out. But I, I guess I guess not. Anyway, now it's time for Spiral Pegasus' stage. What is the stage word? I mean, the Skyver. That's his name. Now I remember. All right, here we are. I mean, we just we just killed Mega Man X. And but, you know, we, we can't we can't leave the Skyver alive and well after all this. Oh, this is the stage with all the bombs. This isn't fun. Oh, Taz is killing it. Taz is destroying these bombs. Of course, Alia has to tell us every five seconds that there is a bomb going off, but um, I think we know. What what a what a performance by Zero there. Of course, we do have to slowly walk on this thing. Zero is very frustrated by that slow walk. He's trying to destroy that platform. Now Zero is trying to destroy this platform. I don't believe you can, Zero. I'm sorry to tell you, but Zero is doing the best he can to go past the stage. Now Zero is just having some fun, respawning those enemies. Why not? Once again, getting down there as fast as possible. Will that weapon tank be collected? Something tells me probably not, but uh, you never know. You never know with Taz or Zero or whatever. Never mind, it's gone. And uh, is that it? There we go. There we go. That's that's the end of the stage. Time to fight the Skyver. Never mind. I was lying. We have, we have a... I forgot what these are called. Not a roller that goes to lift things. You go on skis. Maybe they're just called lifts. I don't know. That Sigma virus is really trying to get Zero, but it's not doing a good job. Will he catch Zero? Find out on the next episode of Tutor P Looks at a Task video. Actually, we find out right now. The answer is no. Zero's double jumping. Zero's waiting for this elevator. Ali is saying, hey, uh, it's been a while since I've checked in. Just want to make sure everything's okay, Zero. Oh, Zero, Zero said, I, I could touch the wall and back twice before this platform leaves me. That's crazy. Zero's literally a little kid doing stuff like that. That's crazy. Ooh, using the Shadow Clone, from the, the Psychedelic Shadow Clone from Zero to uppercut those enemies through the wall. Now that's impressive. Now I'm pretty sure Zero already cleared that floor, but you know, let's... Oh, taunting the Maverick. <laughs> that guy was pleading for your help, Zero. He just left him there to die. You, you could have saved him twice. He was sitting there screaming for help, and you didn't save him once, but it's time to fight the Skyver, gamers. Here he is, the Skyver. How is this going to go? We freeze time, we SDC, and the Skyver dies. Who could have seen such a sequence of events coming? Not me, that's for sure, but good job, Zero. You have killed the Skyver, or Spiral Pegasus, whatever you want to call him. Now it's time for Sigma 4. Once again, I don't understand this order of stages. Maybe I don't have my PIMDAS correct, but uh, again, if any of you guys in the comment section understand, please let me know. Also, a couple of times the actual tassers have commented on the video, which is crazy to me. And uh, if that ever happens, please go check out their channel. You, I really want you guys to support them. I'm just like, you know, I make Mega Man videos. I'm trying to show this to, off to like a casual audience. I don't make these tassers. I think that's pretty obvious. But you could actually go check out the tassers and... Whoever made this task, if you're watching it, please tell me why the stage order was as such. Was it just to be entertaining? Because that certainly worked. But maybe there's another reason. I don't know. Either way, it's time to fight Izzy Glow. How is this gonna go? 
Good, that was a good rhyme there. Uh, we see some SDCs. Another SDC thrown in. We have a really big boss health bar, and uh, Easy Glow is dead. Again! Well, well, well. It's Matrix or Burn Dinosaur or whatever. Either way, man's getting SDC to death, and now he's dead. Again! Now there's Dark Dizzy if I've ever seen him. There he is, the Batman himself. And he's getting SDC the second he goes onto the floor. He shouldn't have done that. He should have stayed on the ceiling. And uh, Dark Necrobat has died again. Oh, no, not Squid Adler. I hate this guy. Zero, take him out, Zero. I don't want to look at this guy's ugly face. Thank you, Zero. Squid Adler has died again. Duff McWhalen. Who would have thought we would have seen this guy? Oh, there he goes. He's barfing out ice cubes. I hate when he does that. Um, not a big fan of that. But hey, uh, Duff McWhalen is dead. Again, Grizzly Slash, who brought you back to life? My goodness gracious. Now, the problem with Grizzly Slash is uh, he's on the ground, so Zero can SDC and kill him. Again, Axel the Red, I thought you were Axel the Dead, but now you're Axel back to the alive. That didn't really rhyme, but you know what? We're just going to SDC this guy, and uh, now he is once again Axel the Dead, or should I say he is Axel the Dead? Again, Spiral Pegasus, or the Skyver, I should say. Long time no see. <laughs> so we, we just killed him before this stage, and uh, now we just killed him again. Now we are at the third part of Sigma 4, Sigma 4 Part 3. We have the part before the refights, we have the refights, and now we have this part, the disappearing blocks. Is Zero going to skip him this time? Not really, but Zero is definitely McNasty swagging all over these blocks, I'll tell you what. That was a crazy way to go through them. And now we're getting the quick dash. I like that we have weapons this time. Last time we didn't have any weapons, but this time we certainly do. And it's time to face off against what's probably going to be Sigma. I mean, we got the Mega Man X and the Zero capsules in the background. Don't know how they both got back there, why they're next to each other. I mean, the, the Mega Man X one was found and dug up, right? I mean, I don't know about the lore. Anyway, Zero, I mean, Sigma takes off his costume and it's time for a tough battle right here. This is going to be close. Get Never mind. Sigma is dead. Um, I guess that's the end of the game. Sigma died, I mean. That was it. That was Sigma right there. He's dead. He's dead. The lights turned off. Gamers, it's never a good sign when you kill a boss and the lights turn off. Believe me. That means something else is going It can't be. No. Moldy Sigma? No. No, I hate Moldy Sigma. No. Zero, kill him quick. I don't want to look at- ooh, SDC, SDC, using his hands against him. My goodness. Oh my gosh, epilepsy warning once again. Wait, is he already dead? Oh my goodness, Zero, you killed him before I even realized. Thank goodness, that mold was going to get everywhere, it was going to be bad. Mold is not good for you. Well, I guess, I think, this isn't like penicillin mold or something, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to get into that. I'm not a microbiologist. Zero died? What the- I, ju I just saw him kill Sigma. There's a Mega Man X is back. Wh what is that? We haven't seen this this Sigma junk piece of junk at all. And with Zero's dying breath, he leaps into the air without legs, a hole in his torso, and shoots a shot that I presume killed Sigma. And uh, there's Sigma and Zero fighting again. There's Dr. Wily ruling the Earth. There's Zero for a third time. There's Iris who is dead. And uh, the screen is red. And there's Zero. Zero's dead. For real this time. I, wait, how many times has he died? <laughs> guys, trust me. Zero's really dead this guy, time, guys. I don't think he's coming back to life. Mega Man X was right there. Mega Man X could have saved him and repaired him himself, but I'm pretty sure Mega Man X just left him to die. I mean, Zero is dead. For real this time. I know you, you probably don't believe me. I'm not clickbait. Zero is really dead. I'm serious, guys. Anyway, that was a fun task. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, this was the any percent all stages task, as you saw. So we got to go through every single stage of Mega Man X5. And we even got to see a cool glitch. That was fun. It's been a while since we've seen that. If you don't count the SDC as a glitch, which I don't. That's really just an exploit. But anyway, this was a really good run. And next time, we're going to be getting 100% of the items. Meaning it is, of course, the 100% task run. Isn't that going to be sick? Super epic, nasty McSwaggington. I don't know. I, I keep saying these things. I, I hope I hope they mean something. But yeah, that was a great video. I hope you guys enjoyed that too. But uh, you know, today is uh, round 13 of the Canada's tournament, don't you? There's a th three-way tie for first place. Fabiano Caruana is a half a point behind. Goodness me, we got to... 
guys, this is the end of the video. We got to go check that out. Come on, let's go. You guys like chess, don't you? Don't you? I mean, if I started making chess videos, you guys would all be there, right? You guys are not just here for the Mega Man, right? You know what? Don't answer that.